these next couple albums, honestly, these don't have probably the same kind of sentimental value that they that the others do, but they're on here because of how fucking amazing they were. I'm the kind of person that like when I find an album that I really like, I will fucking listen to it over and over and over again until until, until it no longer does it for me. You know what I mean? You know, like, do you find yourself that you don't listen to it for a while, then you come back? They come back to it all, all, all the time. Over and over again. That's like honestly, like I sometimes I struggle with the stuff I've been listening to this week because it's like, well, it's the same shit I was listening to a month ago. Like <laughs> talking about, it. you said the same exact thing last week to me. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's a struggle, but it's a good struggle to have. The the, the albums are "Number of the Beast" by Iron Maiden. Ooh. Actually, the first Iron Maiden album that I ever owned was given to me as a gift. It was "Brave New World." <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's you. Oh my God. But like, like, I used to give it to everybody. Like, <laughs> it was yeah, fucking good. It's it a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a damn good album. <laughs> I got as, I got it as a, as a graduation gift. Um, <laughs> from I, Dan. From Dan, probably. Just I just didn't know it. Just mailing it out to random addresses. <laughs> just showed up in my mailbox one day. 